Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial I am going to show you the R strip string method. It's just like the L strip string method but we're this time stripping from the right side of the string object versus the L strip method that uh, strips from the left side of the uh, string object. So, <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I got to be clicked on my interpreter here. Let's do uh, this is a string. All right, and we're gonna do R strip. So period R strip since it's a string method. Parentheses. Now we give it an argument. It must be in a string format. So uh, give it a quote, single quote or double quote. And let's take out the G out of our string object. Close out our single quote. Close out our parentheses. Hit return. And as you can see, we said strip the G from the left side of our right side of our string with the R strip, and it removed the G down here. All right, so we get this is a string. So that's what R strip will do. It strips it from the right to left. So let's take a look at another one. Um, let's see what happens when we don't provide an argument in this one. So we'll do. Uh, this is a string, and this time I'm going to add a bunch of white space at the end, spaces. And then I'm going to call period, R strip. So we're calling our R strip string method. And no argument in this one. So it's blank. Hit return. And as you can see, what happened here was we had a bunch of white spaces here. Then we call the R strip, and the default argument is white space. So then it comes down gives us a new string object without any white spaces at the end of the string okay so the default value is white space so we could also it would look something like this if we wrote it out this is a string a bunch of white spaces at the end and if we wrote it out it would look r s t r i p and it would do um quote in the space, then a quote, and then close out our string method, hit return, and we get the same thing as the default. So if you have to remove white spaces, there's no need to put it in here, but you can if you like to. Um, what else do I want to show you? Let's try removing some stuff from Mississippi, since we've been using Mississippi a lot lately. I'm going to do a couple of spaces here. We'll do I M I S S I S S I P P I. A couple more spaces. Quote. Now we're going to do R strip. Strip. Man. Long day. Alright. So, R strip. And we're going to remove the, um, the spaces on this side. The I on this side. The P on this side. And the I. We want to get, get a miss this. Miss this. That's what we want return to us. So, let's do. Um, now, this is just like L strip. It doesn't have to be in any certain kind of combination or order it can be in any order you want so I'm gonna do I want to remove a P I want to remove an I I want to remove a space all right and then there's my uh, close out my string so I'm saying remove any P's remove any I's remove any spaces and then close out my string object or string method I'm sorry um, with a parentheses now I don't know if you guys got the in the L strip um, tutorial when does this stop because in this case if I say remove the space remove the I remove the P when does this know to stop all right so what happens is it goes from the space it sees the spaces or remove the spaces here it sees an I or remove the I remove the PP removes the PP and then removes the I again and it hits s and it says, oh, wait, S is not an argument. It's not in my argument. So I can't remove that. And that's where it stops. It stops right there. So it won't go through and remove these I's. All right. Hit return. And there we go. M-I-S-S-I-S-S. -S -S -S. And it removes everything from the right. So that is R strip. If you have any questions about R strip string method in Python, Leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.